Now, the Gulf of Guinea Northern Region's Social uh, Cohesion Project has taken off in the Builson North municipality of the Upper East Region with a sock cutting for more than 4 million Ghana cities worth of developmental projects. Among the projects is an ultra-modern community-based health planning and services centre, which upon completion in six months will bring relief to the people of the Zaring and Bulba communities who have to always make an hour-long journey on motorcycles to access healthcare services. Here's our correspondent, Albert Sori. Zaring and Buluba are twin communities in the Busa North municipality of the Upper East Region. The people here are predominantly farmers, with a few of them petty traders. The only healthcare facility here is this old building. It was a dilapidated teacher's quarters, which 10 years ago was improvised into a healthcare facility to serve the people of Zaring and Bulba. The facility can only cater to antenatal and postnatal services and other minor health issues. Therefore, persons with more severe health complications often have to go to the Wiaga Health Center or the Sandema Hospital. With motorcycles being the most common means of transport here, the journey takes about an hour or more. The residents say it is frustrating. We women, we suffer a lot in terms of delivering. If someone is pregnant, the, per the person wants to deliver. We don't have midwife here because of there's no rooms or there's no facility for the person to come and stay. If we are to deliver, they will send us to Wiaga and Sandama. If we are, we are delivering, we don't have means to go to Banyansa. And if it is the raining season time, we are suffering. The road is no good for us. However, in about eight months, the people of Zaring and Buluba can heave a sigh of relief because an ultra-modern community-based health planning and services or CHIPS center is expected to be completed, finished, and handed over to them. The construction of the CHIPS Center, which will come with a mechanized borehole, is one of many social and economic infrastructures to be put up or rehabilitated by the Bursa North Municipal Assembly under the Gulf of Guinea Northern Region's Social Cohesion or SOCO project. Vaida Anab is the Municipal Chief Executive three health projects. You see the one is a very new one that they are going to construct. The other one they started in 2016, they've not been able to complete it. We are going to renovate it, expand it and complete it and put it into use. And then also the third one back at Wiara, uh, that one to we complete it and put it into use. The normal standard chips compound. The Bursa North Municipal Assembly has cut sword for the construction of the CHIPS Center as well as other projects. The MCE gives details of the other projects and says an amount of 4.6 million Ghana cities is secured and there should be no problems in meeting the timelines for the completion of the projects. We have a, a road leading from uh, Tono Johnson to a community called Achanyirugoye to make it accessible because there's a health center, uh, a chips compound out there. There's uh, an uncompleted school also there, Achanyirugoye. We want to complete that one. And then the almighty Jubilee Market, Ghana at 50 uh, market stores in San Town. We are going to complete that one. We have been given the funds to do the job. The money is in our account. It is four million six hundred thousand. And so if they start work, we can even give them some kind of mobilization. I want them to do a quality job. And we are giving them six months. They've all agreed. The contractors have agreed. The Gulf of Guinea Northern Region Social Cohesion, or SOCO project, is a 150 million US dollar credit facility funded by the World Bank. Alhaji Danladi Salifu is the SOCO project zonal engineer for the Upper East Region. We have about 
seven, eight projects. Well, it has been categorized into lots. So each lot have about three projects, sub projects. On our paper, we are giving each and every contractor six months exactly. Okay. No extension of time. As soon as the contractor hits the ground, he requests for payment, he's good to go upon providing the necessary documentation. For the members of the beneficiary communities here in the Busa North Municipality, the development projects under Soko will definitely improve the quality of their lives and they can only hope for a successful completion of the projects. For Joy News, Albert Sorry, Zarin, Busa North Municipality.